Now that you've been familiarized with the core functions of SMS Pro, I would like to take a few minutes to show you the roadmap to successful implementation of an SMS into your organization using SMS Pro. SMS Pro is designed based on the four ICAO pillars, safety policy, risk management, safety assurance, and safety promotion. By the same token, we base our SMS implementation guidelines on the four phases of an ICAO SMS implementation, planning, reactive, proactive, and monitoring. Phase one of an SMS implementation typically begins with aviation service providers designing their unique framework to satisfy Civil Aviation Authority's SMS requirements, such as those mandated by ICAO, FAA, EASA, or Transport Canada. Since each company is different, each SMS program will be unique. During the SMS planning phase, top management ensures SMS requirements are integrated into everyday business processes and work activities. Phase one of an SMS implementation plan should also include the gap analysis. From this gap analysis, aviation service providers determine the current status of their safety management processes. Phase one of the SMS implementation process focuses on developing the accountability framework for your SMS program. This is the time to identify the accountable executive and assignment of responsibilities and safety accountabilities of key safety personnel, notably the managers. Using SMS Pro, this can be achieved through the use of the organization chart module, duties and requirements of key safety personnel module, where the descriptions of the responsibilities of safety personnel can be easily viewed and updated. And in the safety workspace of the dashboard, you can find the safety officer information. Documenting and describing the safety management system can be achieved through the use of the proactive hazard analysis tool, where the system can be described using either the shell or the 5M models. Phase one of an SMS implementation plan should also include the gap analysis. From this gap analysis, aviation service providers determine the current status of their safety management process. A gap analysis can be performed using the gap analysis module. Right out of the box, a number of gap analysis templates are available to use to begin your implementation, such as the ICAO, Transport Canada, ISPAO, the FAA, or a template that combines key components from each of them. You can easily save and resume your gap analysis or review past completed gap analyses that have been performed. A chart comparing past completed gap analysis is available to give you a quick glance at how effective your implementation has been, and a summary score chart is available to review the results of each gap analysis you have completed. Results from the gap analysis provide necessary information for developing detailed plans to improve existing safety management processes. These plans evolve into the SMS implementation plan, which will include timelines and priorities of key safety activities. Using the implementation plan module, you can review the level of completion for all of your activities and phases, selecting an activity, you can enter the level of completion, make any notes about the completion, save a target, and start and finish date, or the confirmed completion date, and set a review date. Auditors can come in and review your implementation plan and make comments on the level of completion for an activity and indicate if the activity is satisfied or not. Documenting these activities is a task that should never be overlooked. The saying, if it isn't documented, it didn't happen, should be remembered. Documentation relevant to safety policy and objectives should also be developed during phase one. This can be achieved through the use of the policies and procedures module, where you can easily review and update safety policies and procedures set by your administration. The applicable regulations module, where links to regulations that apply to your organization can be easily accessed and reviewed. And version controlled documents manager modules, Version control in this module is a key component for a review of documentation. Lastly, an effective means of safety communication should be developed during phase one of your implementation. SMS Pro contains numerous modules that do this for you, such as the message board, which is easily accessed from any page, and users can indicate if they have read a message or agreed to comply with a message. Management can create or edit messages and review sent messages to determine who has read 
and not read them. The safety newsletters where newsletter templates can be created and saved for reuse to communicate safety concerns to your organization via email. Past newsletters can be reviewed and resent, and specific user groups can be targeted to receive a newsletter based on role. People outside of your organization can also be sent a newsletter. Many email notifications. The Meeting Manager module. Using the Meeting Manager, safety meetings can be created or reviewed. Attendees can be selected by a role or on an individual basis. Pre-meeting announcements can be created and an agenda based upon reported issues can be generated. Conducting the meeting will save all of the meeting minutes and notes about each agenda item as well as who attended and did not attend a meeting. And the Emergency Response Notifications module, where recipients of an emergency notification can be selected by role and sent a notification via email, text message, a phone call, or a combination of those methods. Users who successfully receive the notification can be reviewed here as well. Phase 2 tasks implement essential safety management processes. Deficiencies of existing safety management processes discovered during the gap analysis from Phase 1 will also be focused on. ICAO's Phase 2 focuses on solidifying, repairing, and strengthening existing safety processes and developing those which do not exist yet. During this phase, aviation service providers are not looking ahead and analyzing data to detect future events. Therefore, Phase 2 is known as the reactive phase of an SMS implementation. Tasks to be completed during Phase 2 are to implement reactive risk management processes. This can be achieved by use of the Issue Reporting module, where issues of all types of concern can be reported. A mapping interface is provided to capture precise location information. A link to an offline mode application is available for mobile reporting. Issue reporting can be de as detailed as necessary. Attachments such as images can be uploaded to add supporting documentation to the report. An issue manager module, where issues reported into the system can be assessed for initial and residual risk. All management activities are documented and can be reviewed in the comments section of the issue. The issue can be classified in a number of ways, including type of concern, associated hazards, policies and procedures, root cause, and by suppliers and vendors. Corrective actions can be assigned and managed, and in-depth investigations can be performed on an issue if deemed necessary. Validation of issues can also be performed if a review is found to be required. Delivering training relevant to reactive risk management processes, which can be achieved through use of the SMS Pro Induction Manager module. In order for a user of SMS Pro to begin reporting issues, they must undergo any training required by the organization before they can begin reporting issues. The induction page is fully customizable and can detail whatever information is applicable to your organization. When the user has completed his training, they can follow the link to the induction manager module where they can indicate that they understand how a safety management system operates, are aware of the role they play in their SMS, understand the aim of the SMS is to improve safety and not to attribute blame, and have participated in either a formal or informal induction of the safety management system. Upon submitting the induction request, the safety manager can review the induction manager module to see which users are not yet inducted, those that are awaiting confirmation, and those that have been confirmed, and when they were confirmed. Maintaining documentation relevant to reactive risk management, which is achieved through SMS Pro's Issue Manager module, which can document all of the risk management activities that occur in your SMS. Throughout an issue's lifecycle, all management activities are documented by SMS Pro and can be reviewed in the Issue Details tab of an issue. A history of all user-added and system-added comments can also be viewed there. Maintain means for safety communication. The modules identified in Phase 1 continue to provide the means to achieve this. That concludes this look at the first two phases of an SMS implementation using SMS Pro. In our next video, we will review the final two phases of an ICAO implementation. For more information about SMS Pro, please visit us at asms-pro.com or contact us at sales at asms-pro.com or by calling 1-907-227-1676. Thank you for your interest in SMS Pro. 
the most complete aviation safety management solution.